What is going on everyone, Bitter Hyena here, and welcome back to another episode of What's in the Mail? A very small and chill series here on the channel where we go ahead and look at some of the cards that I purchased throughout the week, whether it be from eBay, Twitter, or Instagram, or anything like that. It's been a few weeks since we've done one of these videos, and honestly, it's getting to the point where I have so much mail piling up, I'm pretty sure I have close to like 20 letters and I've got around six or seven more coming from different GX Ultra Shiny cards that I've ordered. And I'm trying to do this stuff somewhat in order in the way that I purchased them, but it's to the point now I cannot remember what half of these letters are. So I've gone through, I've picked out five of them today, and we're gonna open those. It kind of worked out pretty good because I have like five that are kind of long letters, and then I've got five that are short letters. So for the time being, I guess we will be opening up like five at a time, something like that. That should make for a decent video. And like I said, I don't remember at all what is in half of these. I know I've ordered some full arts. I know I've ordered some like maybe hyper rares. I don't, I can't remember if I've ordered any more hyper rares, but I know I have ordered some older secret rares. Uh, some Japanese secret rares, some gold cards, and then there are some, like, uh, English reverses from, like, I think there's one from Unseen Forces, but I don't remember what letter it's in. So let's see what this one here is. Ooh, this is a good one. This was one I've actually, like most of these, I've had my eye on for a while. Oh, there's two in here. One of them's not too special, one of them is. So, real quick, yes, just Pokemon Breeder Full Art. If you guys have been members of the channel for a while, uh, back when Shining Legends came out in Japan, this was actually the first Secret Rare that I pulled, and I never did pull it in English, and it's such a cheap card, it's only like three or four bucks. Completely worth it for a Full Art, so I had to go ahead and pick it up. And it's in the coolest sleeve. Oh my goodness, I'm really starting to collect sleeves now, and man, oh man, is that such a perfect addition. Espeon, well, Eevee wearing like a little Espeon outfit. That is awesome. But the main card here, which, oh man, and I got this for a pretty good deal. It was only a couple bucks. I know normally it seems... And you're gonna have to forgive me, I don't remember what I paid for most of these. But I know this one, I've seen it run around like $15, $20 maybe. I got this one for under 10, I do remember that. But just, I absolutely love that Japanese foil that they do that's like the all over star pattern. Uh, that's just a normal green sleeve. Let's go ahead and take this out real quick and we will check it out in the light just a bit better. Let's see here. Ooh, come on, come on. I don't like when sleeves are that stiff. It's so hard to get cards out. Okay, there we go. But still, very nice card. Very glossy. I don't see any scratches on the front. I mean, it's not in perfect condition. It does have some whiting on it, which is fine. But very nice. I believe this is from Stormfront. There is a Charmeleon and a Charizard. If you don't know about it, I'm pretty sure most of you do. But very cool, very happy to get the Charmander at least. Such a nice little secret rare reprint, I guess you could say. But very nice card, very happy with that one. Put you down here next to the Pokemon Breeder and I actually realized I don't have his top light on. Okay, moving on, next letter here. Let's see what is inside this one. So maybe these letters might have multiple cards in it. Uh, I didn't realize this one was from the same seller, actually. So let's see. What is in letter number two? Let's see. Oh, it's wrapped up in cardboard here. Uh, oh, okay. This one actually says what's on it. This is the Unseen Forces stamped reverse hollow, I believe. I think this is it. Yeah, yeah, this is it. And... I, there was no real reason for me buying this besides the fact that it just looks absolutely cool. I mean, that's it. It's just a cool looking hollow trainer. Man, and I didn't even know about this card, honestly. But that is so cool. It's such a good looking reverse card. Like, look at that. It's so cool. It's almost like a galaxy foil, but the little 
stars, I guess you could say circles, whatever you want to call them, are just real tiny. I don't think I've ever seen another foil like this. But this is also in the era of cards that I stopped collecting. So I never did get any of these. The back looks pretty good. A little bit of whiting there. Nothing too terrible, though. Alright. Ew. Nasty sleeve, though. Okay. Next one. Well, we got three left here. Uh, how am I going to tackle this one? It's... I gotta say though, a lot, I've been lucky with buying stuff on eBay, the sellers tend to really, like, package their cards well that they send out. Very happy about that, I've only ever had one bad incident, and it wasn't, like, all in all, nothing bad happened to the card, but I was just like, dang man, someone had, instead of putting a top loader or anything on the card, kind of just stuck it wrapped up in like a magazine like page it i don't know it was really weird and i was so thankful nothing happened to it but oh okay here we go it is another reds pikachu promo i forgot i had a third one this one i had ordered off of instagram and i actually have ordered from this guy a couple of times i believe it was the shining legends uh ho oh shining ho oh i ordered from him very nice seller and i cannot remember his account right off the top of my head so it will be right here go over check him out very trusted seller very nice never had a bit of problem with him as you can see here i've got my third reds pikachu oh man i cannot get over this card though it's such a cool looking card so very nice to have a third one of those put you down there all right let's take a look at this one this one's a little bit easier to get into Let's see. Uh, oh, okay. This is from... Oh, what is that? That one... Man, it's been forever, like I said, since I've checked out some of these. This is another one from Instagram. Oh, jeez. I just completely, like, ripped the whole envelope apart. Hold on a second. Alrighty, I had to take a look at the envelope just to make sure where this was from. And once again, this was from the same Instagram account that I ordered that very awesome Japanese DCE that I got such a steal from. True Collectibles. And they also had the PSA box that I was kind of eh about. But either way, this is a very cool card, and I always love these older gold cards. I only ever pulled one of them out of a pack well trainer at least i did pull a shiny verizian like this i don't know there's just something about these cards that looks so cool it's got nice subtle texturing like japanese cards do it's not as like pronounced as they are now but very nice it's got a really good shine to it and it's energy retrieval it just looks cool and i forget it was like three or four bucks i paid for this one so not too bad all right, moving on, last one here. Let us see what is in here. Uh, ooh, this one is a cool one. Okay, I am a huge sucker for hollow energies, like the secret rare energies that was that were in all of the sun and moon sets. Like, I mean, I want to get just a binder full of those. That's just like a dream for when I get rich someday off of YouTube. But anyways, this is a hollow energy I actually had never seen before. Way back when I did buy this, it was probably, it was a good two months ago maybe. I had seen someone on Instagram buy one and I instantly went over to eBay and found the only one I could see then and bought it as soon as I found it. So, anyways, it is this insane looking reverse hollow rainbow energy. I mean, it's so dark, like you can't even see anything. But oh my god, look at that hollow effect. It's bleeding onto the edges, oh my goodness. I honestly don't even know how I'm going to take a picture of this card to put on Instagram because geez, would you look at that. You can't even read the effect down there at the bottom. It's so much hollow foil on it. Oh my goodness. And I like the fact that the only thing in the card that isn't hollow foiled is that middle part there. But very cool. Very happy to have this one. Like I said, I never even knew anything about this. I think it's some sort of trophy card or one of those like winter cards or something back from Wizards of the Coast era. I mean, Rainbow Energy did, of course, come out in the Wizard of the Coast era. But either way, such a nice looking card. And it's just intense looking. I mean... It's so over the top. Very nice. 
But I gotta say, out of all of these cards here, the Charmander is still my favorite. These Japanese cards that have just the all over Star Hollow, just, they are absolutely beautiful. And that's why Japanese, like, promos now will be superior than the English ones forever in my book. But alrighty guys, that is all I have for you today. Just thought I'd do a quick mail video. Like I said, it's been a few weeks since we've done one of these. And like I said before, I am going to attempt to get one of these up each week. And eventually I would like this to be the fourth video of each week. We would probably do it on the weekends. That'll take place down the road a little ways. But either way, I am still going to try to get one of these up each week but alrighty guys if you enjoyed this video hit that like button if you're new subscribe and check out another video while you're at it don't forget to hit the little bell button get notifications when more videos go up and as always guys thank you so much for the love and support it is greatly appreciated and i will talk to you all later oh dang look he's got like a little sparkle in his eye that's so cool see ya